Well, I just got up. Now we gotta feed the cats. I can't do this while holding the camera. This is Ollie. She's a deaf old lady who I think is growing civilizations on her back. This is Amber. She's the head of the household. Amber! No. Ollie likes to sleep. Amber likes to murder. Hello. What are you going to kill today? Me. Okay. But who has to clean up the guts at 2 a.m.? Hmm? Rain! I should probably get dressed. Oh my god, lunch is a thing. Tumblr check. <laughs> we have an ESFJ! Hi! <laughs> and Lou, a what real you life ESFJ! I have friends! <laughs> and what did you just show me? I like a lot of Disney posts and I was just showing Sarah a Peter Pan lantern thing that I thought was really cute. And I was just about to say that Sarah, I made that because that reminded me and I said fuck because I've left it at home. I made you a like you know what are they called? Jars. You know like little fairy jar yes. things. I made one of those at home that you can put on a necklace and I put like fairy dust in it. Oh my god. Faith and trust I need to show you my squid ink necklace that came today. I literally have wish ducks up here. I left it at home. I love you. See, it's all relevant because we're watching Once Upon a Time. That's why I said it. <laughs> Doesn't want to focus. This camera. I'm really looking forward to this because whenever I talk to my parents about Once Upon a Time, they just kind of roll their eyes and look the other way. Because whenever I show them, they just don't get it. They because don't. I've bawled my eyes out when, spoilers, when Snow asks her heart to be ripped in two so that she can share it with Charming. I have properly bawled my eyes out. And so I like walked into my to see my mother because I needed consoling, I needed comfort. I was like, <laughs> and I showed her the clip to explain, and she just kind of went, oh, patted me on the head, and then walked out. I was like, no, nobody understands. Yeah, nobody understands my need to rant about Pan and the character depth and inconsistencies. So that's what say, we're doing now. I'm quite interested because I haven't thought about Pan as much mm. as Sarah has, and it's I only think a lot about Pan. Sarah that I've realised I get really pissed off when Pan gets so frustrated because there's no reason why he gets frustrated. Because the motivation, it, it needs <laughs> decoding. So that's why so there's I'm an entire meeting that, surrounded it. Yes. Yeah, Sarah does have friends, I can vouch for that. Yay! <laughs> what are you watching? <laughs> As you turned it on, it came all with this. <laughs> it's a mashup of Just Keep Swimming from Finding Dory. Okay, Lou, what have you learnt so far? My hand's a dick. But yeah. he's a very confusing dick. Because he's very handsome, but he doesn't know what he wants. Near this bay. <laughs> You're stealing my lines. <laughs> it's one of the best puns I think you've ever made. And the fact that there's... The creators of Once Upon a Time, the writers, are fantastic because they're able to link all of these mythological stories and fairy tales and that's what I love so much about it but there's so many plot holes so so many plot holes the camera can't see that I am nodding <laughs> she agrees and how and so many things are missing and Sarah and I were hoping that at some point in future episodes they're going to do a lot of flashbacks in order to clarify. to fill in the Neverland plot holes that must have been really terrifying for them. Panalysis! Panalysis! So I was going to be good after ESFJ left and give my eyes a break from screens and do some reading, but then I ended up spamming everyone on Snapchat with more Once Upon a Time analysis. You may have grown up, Belfire, but it would appear you have grown up stupid. It is 20 past one in the morning and I am just about to make myself supper. And look who's just come to join me. Look at that tail. That's not a tail. You're not even a cat. I'm feeling like a fry up it might be a bit too heavy for this time of morning, but I kind of want bacon. The pros of having the house to myself right now is no one can complain about oven noises at half one in the morning. I haven't decided on a scrambled egg or a sandwich, but we will find out shortly. I don't know if any of you have actually read this, but it is one of the most depressing and amazing books I have ever read. 
the end of the first paragraph is henceforth Wendy knew that she must grow up. You always know after two. Two is the beginning of the end. And it talks about how you have to fit a tree to gain access to the home under the ground. And it's saying that you simply must fit. And it says if you don't fit, Peter does some things to you, and after that you fit. I feel like Jay and Barry had some issues. Wendy and Michael fitted their trees at the first try, but John had to be altered a little. The fuck did you do to John? But seriously, I love this book. Tumblr's trying to encourage my pan slash Robbie K stalking. I feel like you can tell a lot about people by their tabs. That was not coherent. I am not a simple chef. My scrambled eggs have flavour. It is now 25 to 3 in the morning. Moments of appreciation for this little dude. Well this is the most interesting thing I've seen all day. Nature. I am now going to go to bed before the birds start chirping in about 20 minutes. Good night. When your ISFJ has a 4am crisis.